the AC 36.5 car. Well, I freaking love these one two two setups, man. <laughs> Oh yeah, like, uh, thing more and is nothing for this right now. Oh, okay. Get confirm that. Uh, BAC new high of the day. Hey, Oxy and oil ticker just went three up on the 15. Yo, uh, oil tickers look fire right now. Um, Oxy looks fire. Hey, Dad. Yes. Uh, gap at 60. Let's see. It's still three to start the gap. Oh, I'm taking, uh, Morgan Stanley, $100 calls. Uh, for next week oil and banks oil and banks uh hop in any oil it doesn't matter just hop in oil and if, which expiration oil uh next week is probably more favorable just so you can have time at the money uh, at the money so for 60 it would be 60 63 dollar cost for oxy 172.5 cost for uh cvx uh 113 cost for zomer 114 cost for zomer you can get this week too but i'm getting next week so on your rcf no nah, i got out Yesterday. Why? What is it at right now? Uh, I think last I checked, it was like 75. Hell no, if you, you know, I said, yeah. Yeah, banks look really good. <clears throat> BAC. Banks. Banking? Nah, it's Banking moving. On it's, it's moving slow, but it's moving slow. Oh, wait, no, we good. 16%. Not bad. Oxy, new high of the day. Look at, you, know. you see JPM? Uh, I'm paying attention to meta right now, dude. Oh. That's gonna make me act up. God, JPN, let's go. God, seventy-five percent. Let's do it. BAC new high of the day. Thirty percent on BAC. CVX new high of the day. Oxy about to hit trigger new high of the day. XLF, bro. Energy in. Energy in banks. Energy in banks. BAC new high of the day. Energy in banks. Energy in banks. Good job, banks. Good job, banks. Please trim here for BAC at 36%. JPM new high of the day. 30% March too. Hello. JPM doing the Dougie. Let's go. Let's go, JPM. Let's go. We're about 20 cents away from the gap fill. Remember, um, for those of you, we've been talking about JPM since last week. Remember how I say like, hey, the chart will present itself. The chart will tell you the target that it's going to get to, but it just may not get there that day or it may not get there that week. But don't forget about it, right? It may just want to material, or not even material, but it may just be cooking during that week that you were looking at it. But then the next week, that's when it goes crazy. A couple years ago, when I first started trading, I would always get stopped out on plays because I would enter it during like the week that it looks good. But then the following week is when it would actually do the in its intended move, right? And it would happen literally weeks straight, like every single week in a row, like it always happened. And so I told myself, I was like, okay, you know what? Let me just buy time and then actually let me just hold. Let me just hold and see what happens. And then when I just held, and it wasn't to hold because, oh, based on the price target or anything, it was just like, you know what? I'm tired of getting stopped out of plays where it keeps running after I get out. I'm just tired of that shit. And so I was like, I'm tired of giving money back to the market. I'm just gonna hold. And if it goes to zero, it goes to zero. And then once that happened, like once I had that mentality, then I would start to see that, oh shoot, the next week or the following month, it would go crazy, right? And if I had charted my setups correctly, then it did exactly what it needed to do. Um, more times than not, and that's why I'm always gonna reiterate more times than not. Sometimes we're gonna get in a place where it doesn't work out, but majority of the plays that you do chart and, it, and you know where it's going to go, you just need to buy time and understand that it requires patience to get there. We wanted JPM to get to the 143 price target last week, Monday, and it said we're not gonna give it to you until next Tuesday. But if you know what, if you still stick with the play, you'll get paid. So that's just how it works. The market will not pay you as soon as you enter um, buy calls at that moment if you're looking for a swing. It doesn't work that way. Morgan Stanley, look at it right now. All of a sudden you got one green candle now about to break uh, uh, about to break high of the day. That's how price works. That's just how price works. It needs to come down before it goes up. If you enter it on Monday and if it's a swing, you ain't going to get paid on Monday. If you do, congratulations. I didn't expect to get paid on Monday. Just how it works. Moderna new low. Yeah. JPM, hello. How you doing? Very, Sayonara. Very well said, I said very well said. But, uh, I've been monitoring like basically what you said. Up now and it's lying, you know, trusting in the charts and, and, and the time, right? Just buy time and charts do the thing. Yeah, that time, man especially if you keep monitoring like that's why i love i'm telling you that's why i personally love charting every day because i get oh hold on hold on i need trim here for jp one second give me one second trim here for bac yes pushing for highs here uh 18 moderna uh 43 bac 40 jpm 
I'm down 2% on Morgan Stanley, 50% Oxy. BAC new high of the day. And the homework pays, bro. The homework pays. And I appreciate all of you guys that have been paying attention to the watch list, have been coming in on the live streams, seeing like, you know, the analysis, like, and I hope you get to understand like how the, we pick these setups, right? You saw how we looked at XLF during the weekend watch list. And then we looked at XLF yesterday. We knew the target, we knew the game plan, like financials financials cruise it trust the chart trust the chart because the chart is here to pay you i promise you and it's in the homework it is in the homework going into the week before it's in the homework and you just keep watching those same sectors going for the whole week trust me it pays it will pay bac new high of the day did we know hell yes we did hell yes we did is is options gambling hell no it isn't why did we get into XLE this morning for the upside? One, CL presented itself with a hammer yesterday. And two, you had news this morning. Boom. Technical and fundamental setup. Boom. Oxy new high of the day. CVX new high. Now, I understand I'm into some uh, longer term swing puts. Yes, but I'm using this currently, the Oxy position, to hedge that position once I close out of the Oxy position. Right? But you just got to like, hey, if there's opportunities to make money every day, you got to try to take advantage of it. Okay. So, you guys, this setup, this setup right here. That 212 rev, this was me two years ago. I would get in on the 212 rev, right? And then it would go up and then it would come down and I would be negative on my weeklies, right? And so then I started to notice that, hey, after that 212, the following week, it would actually go crazy and do like this intended move. So I started telling myself like, you know what? This is what you need to do. If you enter based off this weekly candle, right? You need to hold for the fact that the move may not happen the first week, it could happen the second week. So if it's gonna happen the second week, you need to buy time for that move to happen. And so that's why the whole mindset of when you're entering a weekly trigger, buy two, at least two weeks. That That's where that whole thing came about was because I kept getting stopped out during week one, where week one, it would trigger, then come down and that's where you, I get this whole like, oh, it would test, it would poke its head out. Week one is where it's poke its head out, right? And that's why I say, that's why I say like, hey, what happened that week? Do, who won, like who, what happened? Buyers poked their head out. Buyers said, hey, we are here, but we're just not gonna go yet. Then the following week, boom, then they go. That's why I take those strat triggers. Sometimes, yeah, my triggers, you, you oftentimes you can see that I may take it, like it could be higher in premium, right? Because I take the strat setup and then it could retrace back down. Then you guys sometimes get in when price is below here. But the reason why I stay in the play, because I said, hey, buyers poked their head out. Buyers said, hey, we are here, but we're just not gonna go yet. Then the following week, boom, that's when they go. And so that is where the whole premise of, hey, buy that extra week. If you're taking, if you're buying a 212 on the month, you need to buy that extra month because they may poke its head out on the initial month, but then the next month is when they actually go crazy, if that makes sense. So hopefully that, you know, like JPM on the weekly is, is a prime example of what I mean by, hey, the first week you actually got your actionable signal trigger, but the following week is when they actually do it. And that's why when I say, hey, when we enter a swing, I don't expect to get paid that day because I actually expect it to retrace and come down before going up. So ES on the four hour is a two down green, but it's working on a three. Um, so I just watch, watch that. It, it may it may take off. Um, we do have a 2-2 rev on SPY on a 15 minute. Got our first red candle for JPM. We still have 10 minutes left for this candle to um, actually materialize or to close. Um, so please make sure you are trimming. We're uh, up 50% on BAC, up 40% on JPM, 20% on Oxy as well. US workers is now more than 5 million greater than the available supply. And the available supply consists of people who are either working or actively looking for a job. So this, this, is, this was not the case before the pandemic. The pandemic really had a uh, significant left a list, lasting mark so far on labor supply in the United States. Let's labor go, yes. participation rate came down and there now is a, a shortage of workers. And it, Let's it, go, it, it yes! More <laughs> structural and cyclical. So that, that's, that's a significant issue. You persisted, well. I think, saying what unemployment rate would be Come acceptable on. for you, I think. But is there an unemployment rate that you think would Come moderate on. inflation such that you would tolerate unemployment at by many would say that it, that it is out of balance. Seventy-two percent BAC. So what we're trying to do is get inflate that didn't do that as much as we did either from a fiscal or monetary standpoint. So that, Morgan that tells Stanley, you the day. that a big part of this inflation is actually related to the, the, the you know the, the pandemic itself, the shutdown and then the reopening. That's a big part of it. Now, the quantitative paid using program has Morgan Stanley the high of the day. The Fed. And what is your balance sheet now? I think it's eight point four trillion dollars. Let's go! Like you know, Keep uh, up going, pal. That was yesterday. This is what you okay. do. Right. Uh, Let's go, J. Pal. Like Come on, you're 
Jerome. Come on, Jerome. Come on, Jerome. Process of shrinking the balance. This is what Jerome does, bro. So what happens is, come on, Jerome. Carries on our balance sheet mature up to a cap, a monthly cap. Come on, we met the balance sheet Jerome. In that amount, specific dollar number on it. The idea is we're in a regime of what are you talking about, bro. Basically, deposit the reserve banks. And when we get close to that level where we feel that we're, we're amp, amp, reserves are ample, kind of where we were before the pandemic, Let's go. we'll slow down and we'll sort of test where we are. And that, but it, it'll be a couple of years, I think, till we get that. Hello, bro. Come, come on, baby. Hello. Not getting extended. So the debt limit is really something for the fiscal authority. percent Look at the, the bro. Are, are, are these halted? The we're, the, we're the fiscal they going two up. We're not a policymaker. Anybody, so bro, y'all make sure y'all give Cooper his flowers. So if anybody heard his speech this morning, he kind of nailed it. To happen, no one should think that the Fed has the ability sure to shield the financial Lee on his the flowers, Mays his flowers, Ada, Aaron, you're putting some kind of on point with the entries and the ideas. Liam's not even in here, bro. I can't even tell him. the Congress has to deal with. Did we know? Uh, they, Oxy. And only one way, and that way is Look at this voting to raise the debt ceiling so that the U.S. can pay all of our. Yo, GP is halfway to the next debt. To the next one, bro. I don't even want the next one. That's crazy. Yo. Economic Council or the president for a long, long time. You know, yes. Here, seventy years. There's, I think what were the levels that we mentioned in the newsletter, bro? What did we talk about, bro? That's what I had with bro. Nailed that shit here. so far. I've also had I oh regular oh call, call irregular lunches with the head of the CDC. Regular, regular lunches with the look at JPM, bro. That's really the look at Oxy institutional structure. Let's go. Really, institutional. Look at McDonald's. Look at the market go ripping. Hey, I'll go my different. Let's go. Thank you so much, Jerome. Enormously beneficial to us. What did I tell you? So there's been discussion recently about the Fed. Some Fed members. What do when do we just we sell? What's going on? It's still going up, bro. Everything the new system and the new set of rules, and so you, you can't own individual stocks. Come on. And they're, they're, you can only do these, you can only authorize these transactions or execute them during specific times. Two week um, chart, and, you know, three week chart. And we, we just, of course, I do. Yes, so. JPM so, out of crazy place. 15 minute bar on J Morgan Stanley. Stop playing. We do. Yeah, and I already have 18% of that. Hello, 20% Morgan Stanley. Anyway. And inflation in the United States is very closely shit. related to things that have to buy, for example, Bro, commodity prices that buy freaking really set amazing global car. markets, you know, oil and agricultural commodities are, are <laughs> Don't record that. Global. So that, yeah. you know, dangerous and it's, it's safe. It, sorry, it's safe if you stay on the bike. And, and, and you're good that's what I'm trying to do. You're still playing the guitar? Right? I do, I do. Ah, yeah. that's fine. Your hair is on the shore. Damn. Hair. <laughs> if we have God, longer, you're longer and you're it's too great, too. Okay, so let me ask you uh, that's about crazy, uh, dude. That's the crazy. issue of... Um, what it's like to be chairman of the Fed. Definitely going to be chairman, though. Go have food still, right? His challenge I'll see you on Cali Bay. It's <laughs> completing the process Hello. of getting inflation hey, down to 2%. First round right on me, fellas. Inflation <laughs> in the goods sector. Uh, we're, we're, y'all we want my service? Stay left. <laughs> And that's, that's, these are the three parts of the uh, <laughs> PCE bro. inflation index that we look JPM, at. JPM, bro. There's 56% of the economy, which is the rest of the services sector. It's the big Wow. Is he done? Is he done? He's done. Hey, we go. Oh. Congrats, you guys. If y'all make some money during that punch, shout out to the homie j Powell, as usual, doing what he likes to do best, you know, give us a little pump for the market. Congrats, congrats. That was fun. That was fun. If you have any questions regarding like why market started to go crazy in terms of him talking and things like that, please do ask. Please, I hope you guys did trim. I trimmed a lot of my positions of the financial sector and things like that. Of course, I have a couple runners, but I trimmed majority of my positions, especially for those call positions. Um, Oh, 95% on freaking BAC. Not a bad morning. Not a bad morning.